So neophyte, it's a person who's new to a subject or activity. I'm definitely new to the wonderful city of Luxembourg. And I'm also new to the world of watches, which can be sometimes daunting and complex. And these, uh, these are my chronicles as I find my way through uh, new experiences, new watches, and life in Europe. So what do I think about Luxembourg? Uh, tiny? It's only 2,500 square kilometers, and only 600,000 people call Luxembourg home. It's picturesque and comfortable, clean, and just a great place to live. With only one slight problem. If you didn't know, Luxembourg is expensive. And don't get me wrong, it's not a Zurich expensive, but it's enough to make your cheap uncle clench his butt cheeks in fear after the lunch bill comes. So here I am, in an expensive city, with a passion for watches, uh, naturally we're going to have to get a little bit creative here. This is going to take some careful planning uh, so that I can enjoy both uh, the new life in Europe and also my budding uh, passion for watches. Now Luxembourg is home to about 144 banks and where bankers roost you can pretty much guarantee that the yard will be home to its fair share of Ferraris and Lambos. Since I'm neither a banker or a Ferrari, I need to find some economy in these new surroundings and this will be the subject of my first video, the search for value. So enter the SSB031. Now before you go, uh, give me a chance here, yes it's a Seiko. And yes, it's a quartzy. And yes, uh, it's been out for almost over three years, yeah? So what's the draw in that, you might ask? Well, one, uh, since its introduction, the price of the SSB031 has been steadily falling. I mean, in US dollars, looking at the Amazon site at this time, you're looking at $137. And while significantly higher, the German Amazon site has it for 180 euros. I mean, it's a great price point. And two, come on, just look at it. I mean, we have a stainless steel case, a stainless steel bracelet on the P1. Yes, I understand, Seiko bracelet. 40 millimeter diameter at the bezel and about 43.5 to the crown. 48 millimeter lug to lug with thickness of about 12 millimeters. And I mean, yes, the steel bracelet makes it a little bit heavier at 132 grams, not too bad. But I have it on a watch giggle rally strap right now. And I mean, how can you go wrong with a price point like this and a racing inspired mecha quartz from a brand like Seiko? And let's touch on that SSB031. I mean, it sports a 6063 Seiko mecha quartz movement. The engine that drives the chrono function and the sub dials at three, six, and nine. It has a 24 hour at three uh, seconds at six and a 60 minute chrono sub dial at nine. And I have to tell you, what really caught my eye on this watch, aside from the black dial, white markers, and uh, red highlight indices, uh, it's just the joy of the chrono. As a mecha quartz, not only do you have these great chronograph pushers, but you also have a very pleasing mechanical snap when the pushers are engaged. But that fly back to zero after engaging the pusher, I mean that has to be the cream that rises to the top, yeah? Now I'm still learning about watches, uh, but a look at the schematics on the movement and a few great articles online point to a strange uh, X-shaped three-point reset hammer that gives this watch this tactile feel. Needless to say, I'll be combing the dens of the watch alpha geeks out there uh, to get a better idea on how the mechanism works around the stepping motor. But seriously, all that hoopla aside, it just comes down to a great looking racing inspired watch that makes me smile. And at the end of the day, shouldn't that be the measure of a watch? I mean, if you're a Luxembourg banker and you're arguing that the Omega Speedmaster Dark Side of the Moon and nothing less would work with your jet black Porsche 911 GT3, I would defer to your judgment. Uh, one, because I don't have a GT3 and two, I don't have a garage, but I do have a bus. Yes, we have buses here in Luxembourg. So I'm going to leave you with a trip to Patange, the watch on my wrist, pretty sunny day, a few photos here and there. 
But again, thanks for watching. I really enjoyed making this video and I hope I can make more. And stay tuned for the next episode as I keep trying to uh, make my way through the watch world here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and uh, enjoy your watch, whatever it is on your wrist, as long as you like it. And don't let anybody else tell you otherwise, yeah? Peace.